of editing and I'm going to do it a relatively straightforward one. It's just a 15 second sequence and then I have a couple sound clips that I'm going to use over here to insert sounds to make it sound like my office is haunted. Uh, so here we go. First, this is our timeline as we talked about in class. We have lock functions here. Locks the video. If I click on this one, it locks the audio. Now, I want to keep the video of the original sequence. So this is like that folder of shots in camera that you guys have, these four shots here. So those are all in the sequence. And so I'm going to lock the video track and just delete the audio track. Okay. So now I just have video in there. I'm going to double click up here. Now we're going to go through an editing process, just a, a brief one. So you can see uh, how to use those, I guess it's nine major keys right now. So uh, J, K, and L are play forwards. It's L. K is pause. J is play backwards. This happens to be a... There we go. Okay. So let's say I want to start my soundtrack. All right. Get right. over, you're ready. All right, after I say that. So I start my soundtrack there. I, that makes an end mark. That's what that does right there. I'm going to play through here for a while. Okay. All right, so somewhere like that. Uh, now, these two other functions here, insert and overwrite. You see comma and period. So those keys are, are also quite useful. I'm going to try an overwrite. We'll see if I have to do anything fancy with the video down here if I do that. All right, looks like I might need to deselect that video. Press period here. Select audio, okay. Press period. So period is the overwrite command. What that does, it just inserts this sound clip down here. I'm going to stretch it out because I didn't get quite enough. There's a technique you can do these very precisely with called three-point editing, but we're not going to worry about that. So this is just my ambient track right here, this uh, MVI0026. So now when I watch through the clip, you'll hear the different sound. Footsteps. Of, it looks like the same clip, but it's a little bit different. I know that there are a few sounds of a scary ghost somewhere down in here. Okay. There it is. So I'm just kind of scrolling back, you can hear it. So I'm going to mark the in right there right before. Okay. Terrifying. So there is our scary ghost sound. We're going to insert that into our sequence. And again, I've used I and O to make the in and out marks around that piece of sound. I'm going to drag this A1 down to here. Click on audio two deselect there and press that period key and it will insert it into my sequence with the audio 2 track. Then you'll have to lock audio 2 and just delete the video track and that will work just as well. So now in my sequence, if we play through it, you'll hear it. kind of layered underneath those two shots. Now let's say I say, okay, well that was all right, but I would like it to come in a little bit earlier. I can select this and just drag it, you know, another second and a half earlier and try it again. See how that works? Very simple, right? Now let's say there's one other sound I want to put in here. Do you want to see what that one looks like? Yeah. Okay. There it is. Okay. We'll do that sound. Okay. Do we have value? And again, you use the J, K, and L keys to toggle forward and backward in the timeline. We'll just have that kind of like <laughs> sound in there. Okay. So let's put that a little bit further on. Let's say right here. You're going to do this with a few more sounds, but just for demonstration purposes, this is fine. Again, lock my audio too. 
delete the video track. So now, if I play through, it'll have both of these. This should work. Okay, so there's my sequence. Uh, again, I can move these around down here, these extra, extra sounds. You'll have a few more layers of them, maybe a couple more in your second audio track. Uh, you know, you can, uh, we could even do these all at the same time. So, let's see what that sounds like now. And you might notice on this uh, audio track as well, there's just a little bit of extra sound at the end. You can hear my voice. So let's say I wanted to delete that. Again, and you can use the arrow keys, single arrows. find that spot and then you just drag it back and now we should have cut my little voice out of there okay so let's say that's exactly how we want it you will obviously do a little bit more work to fine-tune your sound than this one here but just for demonstration purposes all right so now we're just gonna we're going to export it uh, just the way we did with the previous sequence and you've already seen that video, it's uh, online, so I'm going to stop this one now before it gets too long. Alright, good luck guys.